the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Tang. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! It's, it's the, the Bill, Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle Show. show. Yeah. It's, it's the, the Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle show. show. Yeah. What's up? I'm Scott. And I'm Bill. And this is the, the Bill, Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle, Cubicle show. show. Epi number 161. The episode where we expose Scott. All this time you've been calling him Scott Pank, but I just found out his real name Don't is Scottrick Pankerton. Shh, shh. He just goes by Scott Pank for the radio. Damn Scottrick you. Pankerton. Wow. How <laughs> dare you? Right. I'm just kidding. I just made that up, but I thought it was fun and to And that's say. it for today's episode of the Cubicle Show. Which <laughs> right. you can catch him on the Janice Facebook page Monday Yo, through this Thursday guy gets at 10.30 And he Eastern just runs time. away. Look at this. Is that the only time zone that matters? See ya. No, okay. Okay, just kidding. We, we, got, is, we got jokes through. this episode. Yeah, we, we got some stuff <clears> to get <throat> to. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about Meek Mill being free. Uh, Rihanna possibly releasing two, not one, but two albums. Kanye West tweets will break it down. Kanye West getting rid of his manager. Uh, and some stay wokeness, you know, because Wakanda. Wakanda forever. All right. All right, so let's get this rolling with Meek Mill real quick. Since this is the big news, everybody talking about it. Meek Mill was freed yesterday uh, from jail. He has been um, in jail right now, serving another two to four years for violating parole after he popped a wheelie on his motorcycle. I only found out about this yesterday while I was running on the treadmill, and I saw it on TV while I was struggling not to fall off. So you got to take, you got to yeah, take the deets well, on mean, this one. It all goes back to, I mean, the whole case in a sense all goes back to his original arrest, which happened like years ago. Uh, something with like gun charges and everything. Well, the arresting officer has been in a lot of trouble for corruption and making up stuff and not telling the truth. Well, anyways, now Meeks Mill, Meeks. Uh, trial his original case is up in question so that's been the whole thing with the what his judge and everything been trying to get him free out of jail but this judge that hey, he's Jay. been assigned hey, Jay, huh? has been <laughs> completely going in on meek non-stop this is the same judge that allegedly said well i want you to sign management with my buddy you need that to make this so boys the men song how like, is this person still well how does they still have a job it's because the people in power stay in power yeah it really is Sad until you could get people in higher power to start to look at it. And that's exactly what happened after all of all this stuff comes out about the original arresting officer. Uh, Meek <clears throat> Mill's uh, unjustness with, right now with serving the two to four years for popping a wheelie on a motorcycle. Well, it, um, basically, the Supreme Court ruled that Meek be released on bond ASAP Rocky. And so he was released last night. Uh, the judge, though, is still staying on the case. She refuses to remove herself from this case. That's bold. Which is basically like you're setting yourself yeah, up here. Right. I got, that's what I'm saying. The Supreme <laughs> you, Court's involved now. You, you already you, – your decision basically already got overturned. You were like that's not good enough to, to say that maybe you should step back and stop trying to get – your whatever nephew signed to Meek's yeah. label. Meek's not going to do anything for you. Good morning, Kyle. Thanks All right. checking in. Well, anyways, Meek got out of jail last night. And so the first thing he did was go see his family. Kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Got, got him again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. I kid. <clears throat> Actually, he, uh, he went to go to a 76ers game <laughs> where he got to ring the big Liberty Bell. It's kind of, that's cool. It's a cool moment. Check out the graphics on this floor, too. Watch this. He's happy, though. Mika smiled through it all, though. He does seem like he has a good sense of humor. Look at that. He's shattering the... Wow! That's powerful. That's cool. That's the power of freedom. Ooh, that I is, like that. That is really neat. That's, that's what happens when you put that crack in that Liberty Bell. Mm -hmm. You crack the floor, too. You crack the bell, you shatter the floor. Um... Yeah, so Meek is out. We'll see what happens. I think we'll get some Meek music in the within the coming weeks. I don't know what direction we're going to get. Are we going to get like a political Meek? Because he also said that he's going to fight for injustice. Is he going to – and do his career. So I don't know. I what don't if, know what we'll get here from him. What if the reason he didn't go see his family right after he got out is because he doesn't have a family because Meek Mill is a robot? Ooh. And what if we get an album of robot songs? Beep, 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 of ones and zeros. Oh, the binary code. Damn. That's the album name. There it is. All right. 
Okay, we got this in the mail yesterday. What's up, dude? Another letter here. This is three um, letters, packages, whatever, in what, two weeks now? Um, yeah, you're right, because after we had, we had the first original mystery package, we still haven't found out who right. sent that, Then we had the delivery of these ducks, and now we've got another this. letter. Yesterday, I go out, check the mail, and this is sitting there. It's addressed to me and Bill, but this time around, oh, wow. Real names. Real names on both. Except they didn't put Scottrick Pinkerton. Yeah, they so, didn't. They didn't spell it name. They don't. They don't know. And don't I mean, as much as they think I mean, they I'm do. not really trying to hide because it's not like you can't find me really easily on right. the internet. But Same. that's really how you spell my last name. Samesies. He's he's a tricky one with that switching out the vowels. Look at this guy. You can't trust mm. him. Well, anyways, here's the connection, right? We got this circle. We got the smiley face, which represents the comedian. So we had that on the card and on the box. I think there's a smiling. We've got the box still here full of noisemakers. There we go. For so comparison. Here's so, the connection. Now, do well, we have a copycat or is this the same person? Well, oh, no, my noisemakers. Um, I would say, here's, here's the, let's take a look at the way Bill and Scott are written in this. It's distinctly different from this one. Or, or is it? Is this the same person now trying to disguise their handwriting or maybe trying to disguise their handwriting before and not trying this time so it, it looks different? Um, what's it called when you're both hands? Ambidextrous. Is this person ambidextrous and this is the right and left hand writing? It's Questions, entirely possible. Right? We won't know. Now, this is what I will say. I'm not trying to uh, generalize here, but I believe that this letter is coming from a female. And why do you say this, Scott? And I'm not trying to generalize. It's a great here. question. Is because, to me, that looks like some lipstick. Oh, I saw that on the back, and I was on like, the back. is that some, somebody just like, smear? So they're leaving their mark in there. That's a call-in. That's the call-in. That's Wait, like the hold zone. on, hold on. We got to do the, we got to. What does it smell like? Blood or lipstick? It's not blood, because if it was blood, it would be brown. We do know that. Oh, okay. um, I did not I don't know, know if it's, I don't so know what lipstick smells that. like. I don't think it smells like anything. This doesn't smell like anything, but look at, let's, okay, let's examine this. Okay. The texture. All right, before we get into water bottle talk territory here, I just there are some little little granules. So it's not it's not like a marker. It's not pen. There's I'm, little chunks in there. Now I'm going to open this, and we may die. Okay. And listen, we got some Kanye talk to get to in a second. We know we're in water bottle territory for some of you, but this mystery continues. Too, Too much, much of, of a, a good, good thing. thing is just right. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's a card. It's a in letter a in a... Oh, man. Wow. Dude, Bill. Bill and Scott, you are welcome. It was worth it to see you both smile and laugh. Until next time, XOXO. But wait, it continues. Okay. It continues. I think we got the Bro. same person. If it was worth it to see us smile and laugh. But there's... But to you, Bill. Okay. Uh -oh. This is... It's got a heart. So uh -oh. we're going deeper than the smiley face. Uh-oh, this might be... This is a, a mini card admirer with here? a flower on it. Ooh. It looks like... Is that sunflower? Uh-oh, what is this, Bill? What do you got here? It says, Bill, perhaps it is a happy coincidence that you and I both enjoy Watchmen. I had a feeling that your button was symbolic of this, but I chose that quote because it is one of my favorites. If we ever meet again, verbally or otherwise, which is what I always say as I'm wrapping up the Daily Dish live stream, ask me why. It is both the end and beginning of a beautiful story. Until then... Smiley face. All right, so it's the same person. It's the same person. It's the same. Compare the handwriting. If you are watching person, will you just say who you are? Okay. Wow, that's the same person. Yeah. They just they went full cursive. This time they did half and half. So this one, but this one was, this is written on April 18th. So this is a week old. Interesting. All right. Look at the efficiency of the U.S. Postal Service right there. Oh, God, great, great delivery. Okay, so let's uh, move on here. As we continue to break down this mystery, we'll make another sub video that we'll put out later in this week as we explore this mystery because we are also known as the oh, Jams yes. Fact Finders, and if there's a That's fact right. to be found, we will find we it. We'll find it. You All right. Put that back up but there. And thank you to this person, and I'm going to speak for Bill and say that Bill is feeling very happy that he got that letter and that I'm, you like Watchmen too. Yes. I'm just speaking for him. 
I'm Thank not you. trying to marginalize his I, thoughts, but no, I'm just trying to speak I'm, I'm still in my moment, so we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, speaking of being marginalized, is that what people are trying to do to Kanye? Do they not want Kanye to be a free thinker and say what he wants to say? Is it wrong for Kanye to be saying all the stuff that he's saying? I don't think it's wrong for Kanye to be saying anything because I think pretty much everything Kanye says is hilarious. Is he just trolling everybody? I don't think he's trolling. I think he takes his thoughts and he... Ex- exaggerates them to a, gre- a degree, but I think he genuinely believes everything that he's saying. Is Kanye's problem that he only gives one word or like one sentence thoughts and lets you interpret that however you want to interpret that? He doesn't really point out what he's actually talking about. He just says, hey, I like this person, then everybody goes crazy because they say they like this person. Is that Kanye's problem or is that our problem for reacting that way? Kanye's trying to change the way people think, according to him. Is he making people think differently? Um, I think you brought this up in a good point before the show. If he was making people think differently, they would have thought differently 13 years ago, but somehow everybody is still surprised when Kanye starts popping off about something silly or something weird or something that you wouldn't think that somebody like Kanye would be talking about. Yeah, Kanye has been saying crazy stuff since day one. It's a, Like, that's just what Kanye does. You know, Kanye is not afraid to say something that masses believe or maybe few people believe kanye will say whatever he thinks is real he's gonna say it which also leads up to kanye <clears throat> last night tweeting out 2024 and then also what was the hashtag here we go all right the sign said keep america great again hashtag kanye 2024 so these signs have been popping up in major cities across the country chicago new york los angeles so kanye tweeted some images of these posters and then he deleted them so a little sketchy there, but nobody knows whether Kanye was involved with these, whether he, you know, made the call to put them up, or whether he was just observing. Shh. I just didn't show. That's I, right. I forgot. It's your, it's your catchphrase catch now. Phrase. In in homage to the dearly departed librarian. Okay, <clears throat> but um. Dude, you just completely derailed my. We're gonna get into why with the stay woke moment here in a little bit, but um, yeah. So okay, so Kanye said in this radio interview the other day, he was talking about being addicted to opioids, which was kind of a big deal. But then even bigger deal was that he said that he loves Trump. All right, so I think I think we've got a mini stay woke moment here, right? Back in 2015, Kanye said at the VMAs, you know, he did that whole mic drop moment where he announced that he was running for president in 2020. Well, he pushed it back to 2024. Why would he do that? Unless he doesn't want to take the presidency away from his good buddy Trump, the incumbent. That's a, that's a very well possibility. Okay, so I want to break you down know. a few other things. Kanye also says that he tried to reach out to Obama multiple times and get a meeting. Never got a meeting with Obama. Ooh, Obama called him a jackass, right? That, if we recall. He did talk with Trump, but he only talked with Trump and Trump Tower. It wasn't like he was actually at the White House. So was it really a meeting, Kanye? Was it, it was really? it was before Trump was president. But still, you, were you invited there when he's president? And have you been to the White House? Here's the thing: back when he when he had that meeting, he was saying those things about how you know I didn't vote, but if I did, I would have voted for Trump. And then people got really pissed off. And I think they were um, kind of you know once he See, went to the hospital for his mental breakdown, I think people maybe thought, okay, Kanye was losing his mind, and that's why he said that. But he comes back; he's he's better now, and he's still saying that he loves Trump. So well, I think that might ruffle. He's never feathers. ever said what he likes about <clears throat> Trump, right? He no, could he like hasn't. the fact of how Trump has marketed himself and how he's been sure. able to manipulate the media. Sure, he could love that. He doesn't have to necessarily like his policies right. or what he's out there preaching. But then again, we don't know what Kanye even means fully. Nobody fully knows what Kanye means because he's never explained it fully. You know, it's he's like, an enigma. He just leaves it there and lets you interpret it, interpret it the way that you want to. Well, so get ready for the Kanye presidential run. Are you ready for that? I'm ready for it because it's gonna be awesome. How do you not vote for Kanye? Holy West for president? crap! <laughs> like if I am still on the radio, then I will talk about it nonstop. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like, non freaking stop. What was that six years away? Yeah. It was a long time away. I don't yeah, know how my well. life's going to be. I may be dead in six years. Who knows? I hope so. Well, I'm not you. Well, I may. Well, oh, you don't hope I be dead? Okay. Right. You hope you're dead? Maybe. Damn, how do we get so freaking morbid here? Scottrick Pinkerton. Oh, man. We got to bring it. it back with him. All right. Well, anyway, so Kanye <laughs> also <laughs> dropped his manager. Scooter Braun was his manager. Scooter Braun helped him, you know, link up the uh, deal with. Um, with Adidas, all that stuff. Well, he drops Scooter Braun and he tweets out. 
I no longer have a manager. I can't be managed. I'm nobody's client. Kanye is a force of nature. He's not a client. Please. What do I look like? Oh, man. I didn't <laughs> know Scooter Braun was, was in charge of Kanye. Yeah. So, Kanye just wants somebody that's going to be 100% on Kanye, but it's like Scooter Braun has Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande, Grande and like a lot of other like pretty big names. So it's like He had uh, Carly Rae Jepsen and Psy. He's responsible for both of them. So <laughs> remember Gangnam Style? That, thanks, Scooter. Thank you, Braun. Uh, what good, a good, good call, Kanye. Go screw honestly. yourself out of here. Yeah. But I guess they're still, like, close, but Kanye just needs somebody that can focus on him. Right. And then we get to the big news of Kanye's longtime collaborator, Rihanna, mm. posting some uh, some cryptic messages out there. Is she going to be releasing two albums in the near future? This is, like, the picture people, like, she puts this out, so people are like, oh, is there albums coming? Because it has, like, a countdown clock at her website, uh... There's she's, Fenty Beauty. It's a Savage. She's um, got two boobs, a, an album for each. Two eyes, two nostrils. So if you add all that up, it Was has that sexist? To, Was that a sexist thing to say? Well, she does have. Because, I mean, they're displayed. She does have. Yeah, them. right. I mean, it's, with two that, arms. That's like saying she don't have two eyes. Right. Because she does. I mean, we'd say Fetty Wap has one eye. Ooh, does that mean he's going to be putting out one album next time? <laughs> yeah, I think we figured it out. <laughs> it won't, people. <laughs> Fetty Wap just you, wants Rihanna. one more hit. <laughs> uh, so uh, there could be two Rihanna albums coming in the near future. That is a uh, speculation. But I do think we're going to get at least one Rihanna project. Well, here's the thing. Let's look at Rihanna's track record. She is – I would classify her as a workaholic. She was pretty much perpetually putting out music. And aside from the four-year disparity between uh, her one album, Unapologetic and Anti, 2012-2016, she put out an album pretty much every year since 2005 when she put out her first album. So it was weird that she hasn't put out an album in two years. Right, but then according according to a, a source... Um, she says, the source says, quote, Rihanna wasn't happy with how her last album performed, even though she loved how it turned out. She knows she needs a new project full of smash hits to avoid two back-to-back flops. Now, that these are a source's words, what? not mine. I would she never. She that last album a I flop? would never refer to any artist's music as a flop. Not ever, unless they were the Chainsmokers. But this, uh, so she's got what, an album of what she well, I mean, figures will be good, listen, probably radio singles. Listen, I know you're singles. not a critic. Not a critic, definitely well, not. I don't think that last album was a flop. Well, the singles certainly weren't. Like, she did very well right. on the radio, but maybe just it didn't sell as many okay. albums as she wanted, anticipated. anticipated. So she's going to put out an album that she thinks is really going to sell, and then she's going to put out an album of just whatever she feels like doing, which, as an artist... I feel like you kind of got to do, you know, to be to be true to yourself and your art. Like if you're just pushing, if you're pushing it as a business, that's fine, make that money. But you know, if you really want to be an artist, do you? That's, why I, that's good why I like, what I like about Kanye. All good artists have albums that don't sound like any other other albums. Right, correct. Um, but I think maybe what she really needs to do, um, if we're if we're following the recent trends, if she wants her album to be successful, you got to just get on social media and delete all your posts because that you that's what you do. Post you and delete, delete you delete all your posts, and then your album sells a million copies in the first week, like Taylor Swift. And what's this about right it's here? Okay. This is just when you have you were like, I want to do this Instagram screenshot. It reminded me of this. So Mitt Romney wore a. Uh, a a basketball jersey over a dress shirt to a game the other day, and people were making fun of him. And this girl I follow on Twitter, she's like, everyone making fun of Mitt Romney for wearing a basketball jersey over a dress shirt. If Rihanna wore that exact outfit with a pair of boots, every girl on Instagram would have it on tomorrow in a photo sitting on the edge of a sink wearing those little Star Trek glasses. I was like, true. Because mm. Rihanna's a trendsetter, and people, you know, that's the thing about fashion. If one influential person does some dumb thing, everybody else is like, well, the influential person did it. Now I got to do it too. And that's how we end up with so many stupid fashion trends, frankly. And what's your stay woke? Okay, here, Bill, because here we you go. You weren't going to tell me. We're going to go in on this. So today, as I brush up my hair, I overslept, right? I usually wake up at four in the morning so I can. Uh, so I can get to work by five, so I can spend an hour catching up on the latest and greatest in the celebrity gossip world. And right? find out who and who wasn't. Ooh, ooh. We haven't used that sound in a while, You're so right. I had to throw that out there. Okay. So so when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, man, no alarm. I feel so refreshed. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait. 
I never feel this way unless, and I look at my clock and it's 5.15. I was like, sun's up. Yep. I was supposed to be at work 15 minutes ago. So I jumped out of bed. I grabbed my toothbrush and I ran out the door and I got here in time to get everything put together and get on air on time. Wow, so, that's a so we're good. But I was thinking about this. You know how when you, you oversleep, right? And then the whole rest of your day is like thrown off. Everything, you're like in a funk the entire day yeah. and nothing feels right. It becomes a... A wrinkle in time. That is ex- ah. exactly what I'm getting at. Oh. Actually... Because it's like you don't it, you don't get back on track until you go to bed and wake up the next day. So what I think happens, and I was talking about this with my good buddy Ben Ryan up in Glens Falls. Um, I think when you oversleep, you're not just sleeping too late. You are actually entering a wormhole, and you're emerging on the other side in an alternate oh, reality. Hey. So when Gee. you wake up like that, it's not that it's not that you're thrown off because your schedule's thrown off. Because at some point you get everything back in order, right? I'm caught up, but I still feel weird in that funk because that's my body adjusting to this new timeline, this new alternate reality yeah. that was just created. And then Ben Stone started going. You're in like friggin'. future Trunks. Yeah, that sounds like a Dragon Ball thing. It is. I don't watch Dragon Ball, but yes. So Ben started going in even harder on this, and he was like, you know how. When you're, when you're dreaming and they say that, you know, you're experiencing alternate realities, right? And that yourself is actually the dream of somebody else in another reality. And the reason, and I filled this in even more, to prepare, excuse me, to get even woker. Oh, I don't right? know how. The reason why, the reason why you can't, like, reconnect to a dream sometimes when you, when you wake up from it or why none of your dreams are coherent. It's not because you're just going back and forth between yourself and your dream self. It's because you're going back and forth between a multiverse of selves you can kind of plug into and out of like a switchboard. So you go into this reality for this dream, into this one. And you know when you're dreaming because it doesn't stop there. You know when you're dreaming like you're experiencing things but you're not fully in control? You can kind of, you can kind of like – Lucid dreams Influence or whatever it is. Things. Yeah. It's because you're riding in somebody else's body and experiencing things along with them as they make the decisions. So you can kind of So you're you like Kevin of, Hart and ride along. Sort of. But what I'm saying is if we apply that to normal life when you're awake, whenever you get a gut feeling or an instinct, that's somebody else who's asleep, who's dreaming your life riding inside your body. And hit him. <laughs> Good God. To top it all off, I think part of the reason why I overslept today is because I've been too woke for too long. Yeah, time to go to bed. I well, Kanye now. just went on a, a a Twitter spree, and I was about to be like, hey. A few minutes ago? Um, I'm about to read you these couple tweets that Kanye just sent off, but um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 tweets in like 18 minutes. So... <laughs> If there was like three or four of those well, tweets, I'd read re- them off. Let's to recap you. them and and bring them back for tomorrow's. But episode. I do want to say is that it shows you how much people really want to know what Kanye's saying because he only launched, he reactivated his Twitter with zero followers like a week ago, and it's already got like almost nineteen million followers. Well, no, he had all his followers. No, he started back at zero because I had to refollow him, and I, I was like less than a million in. I didn't have to refollow him. Did he delete you? Did Kanye personally delete you? Did he pull the old block no, and unblock trick? No, because he used trick? to have like over 25 million followers. Well, because I remember I used to. Yeah, leave, but I, I, I didn't. Saying that before. I follow him now, and I didn't like. I didn't refollow him for this go around. Is what I'm saying. Okay, well, we're not going to get into this now because did you, un- did you unfollow Kanye? Are you throwing shade? No, I didn't. Maybe. <laughs> but he did have way more followers before. I believe I remember that. saying I believe online, being like, oh, he had 25 million followers because I'd give those stupid little updates to people. But anyways, um, all right, I'm going to be out um, for life now. Bill will be here tomorrow. Wait, what? Wait, I didn't tell you? No. Oh, I'm moving. Oh, all right. Well, good luck. So it'll be the bill. I'm going to have to like, cross off that, that graphic over, yeah. over there. I'm going to have to cross it off. With the my... bill and cubicle show? Yeah. Maybe it's the bill. Else to fill in. Cubicle show. Then you get Jay Scott. Bill and Jay Scott Ooh, cubicle show. There we go. Same. Okay. So until tomorrow with Jay Scott and Bill, um, you can catch the cubicle show. Wow. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Wow. I know. You almost, you almost got me. Wow. Damn, I thought you had been sad, but I guess not. He's I'm like, not, good, get look, out of here. I'm sad. I just. It's I a hide, wrinkle in time. It. Yeah, I hide it well. Because right. it's just, you can't see it because. And his name is John C. <laughs> Jam's Facebook page, <laughs> Monday through Thursday, 10.30 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time zone that matters. One. Cubicle show. Cubicle show. Cubicle show. 
Cubicle Show! That's what I'm talking about, boy! Bill and Scott Cubicle Show? Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show? Yeah! Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a Cubicle Show. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. Cubicle Show. We just got one. Boy!